to the bright siders. I hope that you are all keeping well and staying safe. Now, I met the team of the Full Circle Project who taught me how to make pancakes. Now, I have never made them before guys, so what could possibly go wrong? I'm here with Full Circle Foods and here with Clara. Hi everybody, thanks for coming. Um, we're here at the Full Circle Food Project and today we're going to be making some pancakes. Pancakes! Oh, I love pancakes. So, we've um, got some basic ingredients here. What do we uh, need to make with pancakes? Okay, so first of all, we've washed our hands. Yes. We've washed our hands, we've put some sanitizer on, and we're going to be ready to make our pancakes. So, here are the basic ingredients that you need to make pancakes. So, um, pancakes were traditionally made at the start of Lent and they were a way for people to use up the things that were in their cupboards because of course Lent is a period of fasting when you don't eat fatty or sugary foods so we eat them all now. So we start off, we've got some eggs, yep. we've got some plain flour Check. and we've got some milk. Fantastic. Okay, so our pancake is going to be super duper easy, all right? Are we ready to start? Yes, absolutely. Okay, fabulous. We're going to do everything by eye. Um, but if you did want to measure things, and you could weigh out the eggs once you'd crack them, and it's going to be equal parts milk, equal parts flour. Okay? Yep. So, I'm actually going to use my knife to crack my egg. Okay. You can do yours on the side of the bowl. Yeah, okay? that's fine. So, I'm just going to crack both eggs into the bowl to start with. Yep. Perfect. 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 Put both eggs in. So, we're probably making enough pancakes about 10 pancakes. Maybe eight. So that obviously the more pancakes you want to make, the more eggs that you want to use. And then we're going to take a fork. Yep. I'm just going to beat them in all together. Oh, that shell in there. That's okay, you make it your shell. Yep, there we go. I'm just going to beat it nice and simple. And this is where we're going to start inserting our eye, okay? So we're going to take our spoon and we're going to put approximately an egg's worth of flour in okay. to our mixture. And just sprinkle that in. Oh. And just do one at a time, and we're just going to beat that in to start with. And keep your fork moving around the edge of the bowl because you want to get all of that, all of that flour nicely integrated. And of course, what we're aiming for here is no lumps, okay? We're just going to beat that round. Beat it quite hard. What if you start getting some lumps inside? Yeah, you will get some lumps at this point. But don't yeah, worry, so I'm getting quite a few, yeah. Yeah, you will do, don't worry. We're going to beat them out, okay? Alright. And the lump will be to form. Okay. So it's still a little bit lumpy, but that's okay. What we're going to do at this point is we're going to add another big spoonful of flour. Fantastic. Okay. Now we are aiming for quite a thick consistency at this point, so I suspect we'll probably put in a little bit more flour as well. Okay. Okay, how are you doing? Oh, it's starting to get a bit thick now. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's still quite woody though, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. So, can you see how the lumps are starting to disappear a little bit now? I can see it, yeah. Can you see how it's getting smoother? So our aim here is we're going to go to quite a smooth and thick consistency. So that's not quite thick enough. Yeah, that's perfect. Brilliant. Okay, cool. So it's getting nice and thick now. Oh, yeah, it's definitely getting there. And can you see how all the lumps have come out? Yeah, I've got and a little bit, but I... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's getting smoother. And it's a nice, light, yellowy colour. Right. worth of milk to start off with, okay? Okay. Yeah, squash. Yeah. Is that alright? Yeah, splash a bit more in there. You've got quite a lot of milk. Perfect. Okay. And then you're just gonna fold that in. So of course now what's gonna happen is the consistency is gonna change. And it's gonna start to turn into a liquid. Oh yeah. Yeah, so you should be getting lots of lovely bubbles now. Yeah, I've got a lot of bubbles. Okay, let's have a look. Beautiful, very nice. So let's get a little bit more melted, same again. Okay. Perfect. Well done. And 
from it. Do you see it's got even lighter now? Oh it? yeah, that's much more liquidy. Lots of bubbles as well. well. Lots of bubbles. Okay, then we'll try again and we'll see what the texture is like. Okay. Yeah? Oh, so can you see it's going much more quickly down the side of the bowl now? Oh yeah, that's yeah. a lot quicker before the air. Right, now we might need to add a little bit more milk. I think I might just because I've got a little bit of air. Uh, yeah, go for it. Yeah. We might need to add a little bit more when we start cooking, so it's absolutely fine to have a nice light mixture of this thing. Okay, cool. Okay. Right. You ready? I think so. Okay. I'm just going to take a nice lump of butter about this size. Is the size okay? okay? Perfect. I'm right. just going to pop that in the pan, okay? And we want to swirl that around the pan, so that wants to go all over that pan. So we'll just let that melt in the pan, okay? Cool. Right. Where's Things are getting out? exciting. Oh. So, what you want to do is move your mixture over to your pan. Okay. Perfect. Right, and can you see that your butter's starting to melt? Oh, yeah. So just swirl that around your pan. Okay. You want the whole pan, and this is quite important, you want the whole pan. The whole pan. Yes. And you're getting every little spot. There we go. Even the, um, the edges as well? Or? Definitely, the edges are really important. So we're going to aim for about a third of this ladle. Now I've got a really a big ladle. Okay. Um, so if you've got a smaller ladle, then you might be able to fill the whole thing. So just be aware that you don't want your pancake to be too big. So I'm going to go for about that much to start off with, okay? Uh, is that How are you doing? Right? That looks lovely. Okay, okay. so we're going to hold our pan in one hand. Yeah? yeah, and we're going to pour the pancake mixture into the edge of the pan. Yeah. Okay, like so. And then we're going to swirl it all around. Give me a nice buttery one. Yeah, mine's very buttery. So okay, so have you swirled it so it covers the whole pan? This is a fab pan, it's a lovely size. Yeah. How's it looking, Zinni? Oh, it's looking a bit messy, but I think I'll <laughs> hopefully come up with I it. I would put a little bit more mixture yeah, in that. Yeah, I think I'd yeah. like to put a little bit more mixture in that. Yeah, you, can you see how mine's, you can't see the pan underneath. You don't want to be able to see the pan underneath. Yeah. Okay. How's that looking? Uh, it's a little bit better. Um, that looks fab. Let's go for it and right. see what happens. Okay, here we go. Okay, so, so mine's starting to get nice and brown and crispy around here. Oh yeah, mine's getting crispy as well. And I'm going to know that it's ready because I'm going to be able to move the whole pancake as one. So it's nearly getting there already. Yeah. How's it going? It's getting crispy on the edges. And we're going to be um, bold, aren't we, Sonny? Yeah. And we're going to try and flip them. Oh, we're going to try and flip them. <laughs> okay. How's it looking? It's looking good. It's a lot better so, than I thought. I'm going to turn my... So I can see that the underside is lovely and crispy. Okay, so, <laughs> are you ready? Um, no, I don't think so <laughs> yet, it's still a bit liquidy. <laughs> yeah, I'll <I'm> manage. <laughs> yeah. So Did you just add that? Um, <laughs> in, a, in a manner of... Oh, I missed that, I'm too trying to How get... How are you doing? Uh, it's still a bit liquidy. That's fine, so just leave it. Just okay, leave cool. it for a minute in the pan. Not a problem. Now mine, I've noticed, is a little bit thick, actually. Right. So I'm going to put a little bit less mixture in next time. Okay, that's fine. So you're going to know when it's ready, Sunny, because you'll be able to move it as one. Well. That's looking better, isn't it? Yeah, much better. Yeah? Just hold it. Right. I'm going to quickly put a little bit of pan in. Now the key here... Yeah. I'm going to burn a little bit, so I'll make a little one in a minute. Is just put your toppings in a line. Okay, I'm going to go for it. Flip, yes! A flip of two, are you ready? I'm going to Three. get that out with me. Two. One. Oh. Now it looks like an omelette. <laughs> yes, I think maybe they're a little bit thick. That looks lovely, that's the perfect colour. Oh, thank you. Well done. Thank you very much. Just gonna try. Oh, there we go. How are you doing? Perfect. Spot on. Right, so take a little bit of cheese. A bit of cheese, yeah. Take a little bit of ham. I'm just putting it in a line, okay? In a line, like a straight line. Like a straight line, yeah. Okay. And a bit of ham. Come top. Perfect. Okay. Yep. Yeah, um, when you're happy with that, you're going to take it out of the plate. Right. Okay, just going to... Well done, you're doing great. Oh, thank you. Right, I think that's 
Ready? Yes, perfect. So I just put another cube of butter on, yeah? Yes, but I'm well done. Because you want to keep that pan quite hot. Okay. So if um, you're having a cheese sandwich, what else can you use other than butter to uh, make the sandwich? Um, you can use butter, you can use butter in the pan. Yeah. Or you can use butter in the pan. Yeah. 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 Y
I just want you all to make some pancakes. Make sure you're with the dull at all times, keep the windows open, but most importantly, have fun. Think about what your favourite topping might be and just put them on the pancakes as well, guys. <laughs> I think my pancakes have turned out fantastically well, but they haven't got anything on yet. Now, my name is Liz Millian, and I am a children's book illustrator and author, and I'm gonna show you how to do something interesting with pancakes. Now, I've got some biscuity kind of spreads. I'm gonna put those to one side, because I'm gonna eat those later on. I don't want sticky hands, because we're gonna do some drawing now. If you have a look here, I look like a chef Ooh la la! Oh, actually, I could be a different type of chef. Hello! <laughs> We're going to be looking, really strangely, at a pancake shape and we're gonna mix it in with some cool drawing activities. Now, if you're not very good at circles, you could get one of these or draw around a mug, but you know what? I think it's gonna be more fun if we do a wibbly wobbly pancake shape. I'm gonna get rid of this and this because we are gonna draw aliens but mixed with pancakes, okay? So you need to go and get a pencil and some paper and maybe some colours and join me in my drawer along. Now, before we start using our pencils, we need to do our research. Because if I've learned anything from the bright side, as information is really important. Sometimes you need a bit of inspiration when you are an artist. Now, I have a friend who's also an artist and an illustrator called Simon Bartram. Look at his fantastic aliens. Look, brilliant. That one's even got a bogey in his nose. He is from the Northeast and so is my friend here, Colin McNaughton. Now, have a look. That is such an inspirational picture. This is the sort of thing we want for our picture. Now, I have drawn a munching kind of alien monster before, and there is a chef with all these pots and pans, and Sluggy was nicking the garlic bread. I can't resist garlic bread, I love it as well. Now, I've also got um, a book with a really nasty kind of crew in there. And I've also got my book here that I did with Conrad Burdekin. It had 91 pictures in, but the front cover and one of the poems inside is called Space Cafe. And if you have a look, your aliens can look like anything. They can be any color. They can have as many eyes as you like. Some might look like reptiles. Some might look like insects. Some could be wibbly wobbly. We could be shiny, whatever we like. So there are no rules with aliens. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my crayon and I'm going to do a wibbly wobbly pancake shape. And if you've cooked your pancakes now, you'll know that they aren't perfectly circular. Mine sometimes go a bit wrong if my pan's a bit hot. And above there, I think I'm going to do three eyes. And they're going to be looking at the pan. Because I'm going to draw him over here with some um, tentacles maybe with all different things because if you think about it if you had a chef in a cafe they had to be very good at cooking and getting things ready and preparing things and we needed a whisk didn't we we needed a pan some hot oil eggs we're gonna do a chef and he's gonna have them all in his hands or his tentacles so draw some eyes and he's gonna be friendly now if you want to make him look nasty you can do and I'm gonna do Faint smile. You do that really lightly in your pencil because I want you to draw an M shaped tongue with spit coming off. Ooh. Now that is a little bit tricky. So if you wanted to do an M and then come around, now look, I can't rub that out because I did it in crayon. So I'm going to give him, we could give him a blue tongue could have a red tongue. I think I'm going to do a nice red tongue. You can put colour on later on. You could also stop this video. And before I put colour in there, I need to think about his teeth. Now, is he going to have really nasty sharp teeth? 
like that. <laughs> or is it gonna be funny and friendly? Hmm, now I can't quite decide. I quite like the look of him looking a bit horrible. So I think I'm gonna do maybe pointy but not too sharp teeth. You can decide. This is your creation. And I'm gonna come around like this. And I think I might give him some big lips as well. So we've got our pancakey shape. We've got some little circles for his eyes. We've got a wibbly wobbly mouth. And I think I'm gonna put like um, a sluggy body on, like that. So we are just doing a very quick drawing. I think he's gonna have an apron on, because aprons are quite handy, aren't they? <laughs> put a little bow there. And I think just for a bit of color, I'm gonna do nice sort of stripy checky kind of one like a tea towel okay so you can do this later on I am just gonna do this really fast okay you don't need to do stuff fast because you've got all the time so I'm gonna put it on there like that now his arms he could have little t-rex arms but I think what I'm gonna do is put one of his arms coming just underneath here and curling around. So you imagine it's meeting behind there, like that. And I'm gonna do another one up here. And again, no one can say, that's not what one looks like because they're made up. Now, I think from here, draw one a smaller one and this one I'm gonna draw him with looks like a sausage but he's got a pan okay so we might have a pancake in there cooking like that so we can put sizzle lines on like that if I'm going too fast you can always pause my video. There we go. So it's coming around. Remember, you can put another pair of eyes on there if you like. If you want to do a lady chef, you could put eyelashes on. Now, up here, I think he's going to have a spatula. Now, I know in space it would probably look very cool and different and things like that. But I think sometimes you want to be able to recognize things. Now, oh, we could have an egg, couldn't he? He could have already made eggs. Uh, oh, I know, he could have a whisk, like a whisk. So I'm gonna go whoop, whoop, whoop. Doesn't have to be brilliant. We know that that is a whisk. So I always use a whisk to do my pancakes. And we're gonna draw his oven now your oven at home has a hob like that but I think we are in space so I think we need to draw maybe a little robot instead of <laughs> instead of an oven it's got a little face on bitty bitty beep like that so I'm just making this up as I go along and that's how most of my drawings work, just make stuff up as I go along. So we've got a, a hob here, and we've got action lines, whooshy whoosh lines. Okay, now while we're down here, ooh, let me think. Over here we could maybe have a sort of table, and he's been cooking. Okay, so we're right down the bottom. So he's got a cracked egg, but it's not gonna be a hen's egg. It's gonna be an alien's egg, so we can put all colors on there. You might want to do an egg that he hasn't cracked yet, but is hatching, so it could have a little tentacle or an eye poking out. Oh no, it looks like he might be eating his own baby, but that's fine. All happens in space okay and 
I could also do, uh, oh, we could do a glass bowl. Maybe put some of his ingredients in it. So he might have space slugs or space snails and they're all trying to get out here. <laughs> could have eyeballs, Ugh. all stink lines coming off. <laughs> so, you realize why I love my job. I just get to muck about and do stuff. Now in here we might have, I don't know, like a little salt or butter or whatever we had in our video last time. So there we go. Now I'm going to come back up. So can you see all that detail down here? We could also maybe put a bit of background on. If I move my board up in the distance, we could have out of the window be a window content. We can put a planet like that. If you've got space, you might want to do little characters coming for their pancakes. You might also want to do uh, a little escaped space slug or snail in the window. <laughs> you could also do a little one in his mouth. <laughs> he's been scoffing his products before he's even serving them up. So we could put little spots on there. You could just make it really weird by putting the odd tentacle coming out here and there and making it brilliant. Now, when it comes to coloring it in, you could do whatever color you like. Now I have got a beautiful vibrant green and I think you can tell I love colors and the best part of my drawing is coloring in. Now I have drawn a lot of aliens in my life, every time I do them, they are different. I like doing cute ones, horrible ones, ones in spaceships. I'm gonna put some pink lips on, like this. And I've got a yellow for his eyes. So you can see how an illustrator like me builds up my character. Oh, I've got a bit of green here and a bit of green down here. Okay, now he might be really slimy. He might leave a sort of trail of slime everywhere. He might also be dripping into the pancake. Ugh. Now the pancake, not going to be normal like mine. They're going to be purple. A purple pancake. And while we're over here with my purple I might do some crazy purple eggs and I might also start putting some splodges on it. Now he could also have splodges of flour or eggs. I sometimes make a bit of a mess when I'm cooking, did you? Oh, I got egg everywhere and a bit of milk, but it doesn't matter. It all cleans up, doesn't it? So there we go. And just for a bit of a change, I've got a nice orange here and I might make the worktop orange. So look, we're trying to get as much colour as we can in. Okay, so putting a bit of colour there. And I've got a lovely red. So you've got a nice red pan. And I think that is enough. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is put your name somewhere. I'm putting my name on here. You can put the year on if you like. How did you do? Did you do okay? Was it hard? Or was it, mm, was it easy? Now, I'm going off to eat my lovely pancakes. Mm. I've got squirty cream as well. So girls and boys, enjoy your pancakes. Enjoy your draw along, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Oh, hang on. I think the prof and um, Sunny sent me to give you oh, a challenge. That's right. My challenge to you is to design your own space cafe alien and your own pancake. Think about what it's got in it. Could have pickled onions. It could have belly button fluff. It could have eyeballs space frogs tongues have a good think and use your imagination okay good luck guys bye